Fred, I can't finish this. The color I want is doesn't exist. All right, purple. How about that? Light purple, lightish purple. The question of motivation, I think, is is um, vital uh, for artists, and some people need to look at something all the time and respond to it all the time. Um, and you know, like traditional landscape painters or uh, people do portraits and things like that. So it's looking, responding to it, and working directly from that response. Um, for me. Um, early on in my working life, I realized that there was something else which was important, and that's the uh, intuitive response, um, which um, is generated by your own personality. It's, it's, it's um, something completely unique to the person. I think I'm going to go for orange, although I've got it up there already. Green. When it comes to making a decision of what colour goes with that colour, uh, you have a choice. How do you make that choice? You can't argue logically for a colour. Not in a precise way. It's clear that there are three ways, or only three ways of making a decision for anybody, really. Um, that's rationally, intuitively, or randomly. So most people, of course, live their life being rational about their decision making. Artists of one kind or another uh, employ intuition. More recently, the randomness became a way of arriving at decisions. The American abstract expressionist artists were the first to sort of capitalize on that random thing. Red, 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 red. So the random, rational, and intuition is the, the, the only three ways of making a decision in life, in anything. And I've um, found that very important to me. All the pieces of work I've been doing ever since have been generated by using that method of uh, making a decision. Once I've got one colour going, then the others kind of follow on a little bit more easily. I'm trying to get my head round, which is the best one to start with, to kick off the whole sort of scheme, to kick off the whole colour range. Colour has a very strong, um, as you know, psychological effect upon your response mechanisms. And like I say, it's, it's Dynamics always changing. Whereas I guess a, an apple more or less tastes the same from beginning to end, isn't it? I mean, eat an apple in the evening, it's going to taste the same as if you ate it in the morning. I go on about light endlessly. I can be very boring about it, but for me it's, um, it's kind of, I don't know, it's like life. It's, it's magical. It's, you can't hold it in your hand, but you um, experience it in a very real way. So 
Well, it's taped out so the edge will be nice and sharp around the edge of the shape, that is. Et voilà. The first artists who started getting involved with color, like Albers, for example, uh, he released in me uh, immediately the understanding of how color can be ha have a kind of poetic significance. You know, where you you see a combination of three or four colors. Um, and they look as though they're trying to tell you something. They, they have a, a fascination and a, a sense of mystery and significance. I'm losing. <laughs> That's fairly dark, you see. But I reckon, uh, I'm going to try that. The point about this design is that the colors are not edge to edge. So they're not in any way touching each other. They're side by side, which gives me a lot more freedom, chromatic freedom, which I like. I mean, I'm talking about um, color as a reflective surface, not as a light. Of course, it is light in the end, but when you're dealing with coloured light, slightly different problems arise. And the other th important thing is that colour is relative, so it, the colour you look at is affected by surrounding colours. Unless, of course, the colour that you see, if you see a colour entirely on its own, let's say you're in a room which was painted one colour, um, after about five minutes, being in that room and looking at the same colour, it would begin to change to a, a sort of a greyish colour of the same tone as the colour you're looking at. Because colour loses its chromatic qualities if it doesn't have any other colours present. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> but I keep thinking that an orange might. I'm just going to put a tick next to the ones I think I might use. Orange, 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 orange. I can't use orange. Let's see how it goes. Well, I don't know which way up to put it. Let's put it this way for a start. What do you reckon? Is it worth keeping? <laughs>